welcome back to Art with Miss Yazel. Let's look at our I Can statement. I have some, a really cool artist I want to share with you today. I can identify how to develop my skills and techniques. So when we are thinking about becoming a better artist, we wanted to be able to develop our skills and get better with every picture that we create. And we need to be conscious or thinking about the things that we do that help make our picture better. So what are some ways uh, that we can identify to point to or <laughs> point to or name? That's what identify means. So we can practice to get better. We can look at other artists to get better. We can add details to make our art better. And we can also um, copy other people's work. I know that sounds bad, but um, when we think about copying, we want to copy something to imitate it for the purpose of practicing and not to claim that it is our own. So we should never copy just to say that you did something and uh, it was your idea. If it, if it wasn't your idea, please don't claim it. Just tell people that you practiced cop uh, so that you were copying to practice is what I mean. Okay, so you see cubes here. So we're, we're going to look at this artist who is named Thank You X. And I'm going to put the video about him um, up on Schools PLP so you can do it separately because it lags really bad when I try to play it while I'm videotaping. So Thank You X it basically is an uh, artist who creates murals on the sides of buildings. His work didn't start out that way, but um, he ended up getting um, paid a whole lot of money to... Um, create murals on the sides of buildings uh, and he his work become was discovered purely by accident um, with somebody seeing it sending it to someone else on social media and that way um, he got some publicity that he didn't even expect so he was putting his art out there but people were sharing it with other people and then they shared it with just the right people at the right time and he became um, really well known in the art world. So, and it also tells why his name is Thank You X and how he got his street artist name. So, um, we are gonna imitate his work and create a mural of our own with cubes. You're um, on the back of your cube, you can name three ways you can develop your skills as an artist. Uh, in, in class, we wrote them on a post-it note, that's why it said that. So um, here is a student mural of the cubes, and we're trying to attempt to, to make it look three-dimensional. So the top of the cube is plain, and then the other two sides are decorated with some kind of design that you choose. It could be something about yourself, or it could be um, designs inspired by Thank You X, as long as you're not copying his work, um, and you're just being inspired by the shapes and lines that you see him draw. Um, so I will... Um, I'm not going to demonstrate that because obviously that is an individual choice and you will have to come up with your own designs and ideas. I will put a copy of the cube um, handout so that you can print that out and or you can draw the, the cube onto a piece of paper and uh, create your cube that way. So I hope um, Thank You X has inspired you to want to be a better artist and um, improve your art skills.